Whipping up intricate and accurate 3D designs, creating CAE simulations, or drafting up CM models takes in-depth software, and for many folks whose job descriptions require these tasks, knowledge of Fusion 360 is part of their skill set. The cloud-hosted platform is one of the tops in its category and Fusion 360 needs an equally well-reviewed computer to run. If you're on the market for a new laptop for Fusion 360, we got you covered. Whether you're looking for the budget option or the greatest one, we have an option for you. So let's get started. MacBooks have a little harder time making programs and software compatible with it compared to Windows, but its efficiency is truly remarkable. If you want to choose from the reliable and powerful MacBooks on the market, the Apple MacBook Pro 16-inch might be a good fit for you. It uses an 8-core of 9th-gen Intel Core that has a base frequency of 2.3 GHz that could go turbo for up to 4.8 GHz. This alone already will tell you that this laptop will be a good pick for handling quite serious processes. Aside from that, the MacBook Pro 16-inch also has a dedicated graphics card, the AMD Radeon Pro 5500M, which is 4 gigs of VRAM that would surely give you allowance to simulate not just simple visuals and graphics, but what MacBooks really offer the best are their storage capacity and screen quality. MacBook Pro 16-inch gives you the option to choose from 512 gigs of SSD or 1 terabyte of SSD storage which is both a very solid option. As if it is not big enough, you also have the option to upgrade it to up to 8 terabytes of SSD storage. Having excessive amounts of storage might give you a thought to download more applications or movies. Fret not because multitasking has also room for this laptop with its 16 gigs of RAM and still can be configured for up to 32 gigs or 64 gigs. You could do serious multitasking with this amount of RAM at your disposal, especially when coupled with its top-notch screen quality. If you are bothered by having unequal configuration or by having one of the specs live from the others, then you will be satisfied in having Acer Predator Helios 300 as your workstation. It has a powerful 9th generation Intel Core i7 processor that has 6 cores that run from 2 to 6 GHz up to 4.5 GHz which works together with a 16 gigs of RAM and a 6 gigs of VRAM from a dedicated graphics card, the NVIDIA GTX 1660. This powerful trio of CPU, GPU, and RAM will surely let you render heavy and detailed 3D models smoothly. It won't even budge a little as you even have a 512 gigs of SSD storage and multiple USB 3.1 ports. With regards to its screen capability, a 15.6-inch Full HD IPS screen with a 1920 by 1080 resolution is really good. On top of that, it has a 104-4Hz refresh rate and a 300-nit brightness, making its screen capabilities at par with its processing power, making it one of the best laptops for Fusion 360. The only problem would be it is quite heavier than the other laptops at 5.29 pounds so make sure to know and set your priorities before buying a laptop. If you are someone who makes your Fusion 360 project outside the comfort of your office or home, then you might be better with something that lasts for a longer time. Dell XPS 15 could last up to 12 hours which gives you the capability to work for long hours. You would be able to do so many things on your laptop with the extra time that you have. Usually a laptop that lasts long would be bulky and heavy because of the weight of the battery. But surprisingly, this restless laptop weighs only 4 pounds. Not just that, with the amount of power a screen consumes, you would be amazed that this laptop also offers a 3840x2164K Ultra HD display. On top of that, this laptop still has room to house Intel Core i7, which has 6 cores that run at 2.6 GHz to 4.5 GHz, which is a grand feat. Wouldn't it be good to buy a laptop for Fusion 360 that can make you enjoy outside views while also enjoying the good view of your laptop screen? This laptop boasts its ability to give a high performance while still carrying a lot of your baggage. If you have extra activities outside of Fusion 360 that eats a lot of storage like movies, pictures, or other files, then go for HP Envy. It has a 256 gigs of SSD storage and an additional 1 terabyte of HDD storage which could keep an enormous amount of data and can be brought wherever you go. On top of that, it still will not be left behind in processing speed as it processes using a 4-core 10th gen Intel Core i7 at the speed of 1.8 GHz up to 4.9 GHz on turbo. It houses a dedicated graphics card, the NVIDIA MX250, and also has 16 gigs of RAM, which gives you the power to juggle multiple tasks at once. On top of that all, it has an amazing full HD screen of 1920 by 1080 screen resolution. Fusion 360 is quite a heavy software that processes measurements and graphics at the same time. If you want a laptop that could be optimized for the processes of Fusion 360, 
Razer Blade 15 is definitely a good choice. It runs on the 7th Gen Intel Core i7, which is not just your average processing unit. It has 8 cores that are capable of going from 2.3GHz up to 5.1GHz on turbo. Not just that, it is also equipped with NVIDIA RTX 2080 as its GPU, which is one of the most advanced graphics cards in the market. Aside from that, you will also have the capability to multitask as it has a huge amount of RAM. With these types of power combinations, you could create heavy 3D models while running other tasks seamlessly, and this is the reason why the Razer Blade 15 is on our list of the best laptops for Fusion 360. The downside of having this magnificent laptop is that you would also have to carry those heavy specs on your back. It weighs 9 pounds, so you have to really consider it especially if you are always on the move. Did this video help you find what you were looking for? If so, please don't forget to subscribe, like and leave a comment. Have a great day!